Hi team. We have just a few more in this section. This one is from the early childhood exam, the MTEL 72. This is one of those new early childhood exams. It's a writing a question and it could fit in a bunch of different areas. It could, I could see this on definitely on an early childhood exam. It could also be on a foundations of reading test involving second grade writing scenario, or it could be on, you know, maybe like a general curriculum exam. Um, but, but this one right here, uh, I thought I'd throw it in there because it, it is involving writing and uh, writing journals and activity with writing journals. Uh, first, I, I want you to read it and then I'm gonna read it too. And uh, we're gonna talk about it because it is, a, it is kind of wordy and uh, I wanted to just work through and point out some things with it. So please take two minutes, read this writing, uh, writing activity question, all right? And then we'll talk about it, okay? Go ahead, take two minutes now, go. Okay, unpause. If you're still reading, pause me. And then unpause. I'm going to read it too. It says uh, number four on the 72. A second grade teacher creates an activity which students interview family members about their cultural traditions as part of a lesson on family and individual identity. Okay, so let's look at what it says. Second grade teacher, they're going to do an activity. What kind of activity? It's an activity involving uh, interviewing family members and cultural traditions. Is that right? And it's it's part of a, a, a unit on family and individual identity. So look at that right there. They're doing an activity and they mentioned family twice. Family members, family, cultural traditions, individual identity. Yes. So we're doing an activity that's going to reinforce uh, a student's um, family and their cultural traditions, right? And, and who they are, I guess, culturally, right? Okay, so let's continue. In this activity, I guess, students will record uh, descriptions of cultural traditions in a journal uh, to share with peers during a small group discussion. Following the discussion, students will then create a digital presentation. You know what? You don't see that a lot, but now you're gonna, you do see that now in the new exams, digital presentation, right? Now that that is that that works, but it's going to be very soon outdated. They're going to come up with a new name, and and you're going to see digital representations. You're going to be like, that was so I don't know, 2020, 20, right? It's already it's already a little dated. But anyways, student will then create a digital presentation summarizing the cultural traditions of their family members using writing and images to share with the class. Okay. Uh, the teacher's instructional approach is likely to is likely to be an is likely to be effective in promoting the writing development of students who are culturally and linguistically diverse by a encouraging students to engage in reading about global traditions before writing to activate their prior knowledge b establishing a family shared writing routine so the students develop um, develop habits to increase writing fluency c Embedding discussions as part of the writing process to improve students' oral transfer of oral language to writing. Or D, integrate students' experiences to create meaningful opportunities in writing. Wow. Um, okay, so lots going on. We have clearly a case, an example of an activity scenario involving family and cultural traditions. You can see that in the repetition of those ideas, right? We have family. Uh, let me get that blue color here. Uh, I'm going to make it a little uh, bigger. Family, family, cultural traditions, cultural traditions, cultural traditions. Look at that. One, two, three, three times. This is clearly a question involving supporting, reinforcing a child's cultural identity, cultural traditions. Yes? Okay. But it's also writing activity, a writing activity. You see that? So this is a second grade writing activity that supports family and cultural traditions. All right. Okay. So what is this activity involving writing and cultural traditions? What's it, uh, how's it supporting, how's it promoting the writing of that student, uh, of students who are culturally and linguistically diverse? 
How's it supporting that? Is it, uh, is it this global tradition thing? I don't really think that's it. In fact, I don't think that's it at all, right? Um, because it wasn't about reading about other people's uh, cultural traditions around the globe, right? It was about researching their own and sharing their own and doing a presentation about their own, not about reading about others. That's what this one sounds like, reading about global traditions that, that, that could be outside of their own uh, traditions. So, and, that and that would potentially possibly or maybe not activate prior knowledge. So I don't think that's that was the goal, right? Uh, how about this one right here? Establishing a family shared writing routine. I was thinking about that one. As a parent, um, you do a lot of routines, like homework routine, this routine. I, I don't know about a shared family writing routine. I think by the time the child's in second grade, you know, hopefully the parents have routines for doing homework or they're establishing them. I don't think this is like the activity. There's so many things going on with this activity. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to become a nightly routine because it's got a lot of moving parts to it, right? I don't know. Anyways, I don't think that's it either. Embedding, this is interesting, but it's wrong, but it's interesting. Embedding discussion as part of the writing process to improve students' transfer of oral language into writing. I think that's cool. That's a great strategy. Have discussions uh, that can then have the student generate the language that they can then feed into the writing. It's a great strategy, but that's really not what this is really about, is it? You know, A, B, and C, they're there kind of to distract you and they do a good job of distracting but they're there to distract you from D. And if you read over D, you can see that that's kind of the clearest sentence out of all of them. So look, look at it, I'm gonna read the prompt. It says, the teacher's instructional approach is likely to be effective in promoting the writing development of students who are culturally and linguistically diverse by integrating students' experiences, integrating students' experiences to create meaningful opportunities to engage in writing. So we're gonna we're gonna use the students' personal experiences as a meaningful way to promote writing. That makes a lot of sense, right? Who agrees? These are all family interviews, cultural traditions. This is all their personal experiences, right? And and because it's personal, that means it makes it meaningful, right? They're getting to share about themselves. And so that's very meaningful. And that becomes a great starting point for writing activities. Okay, lots going on in this question team, but I thought I'd throw it in there. Um, this is from, again, from this exam here. I know it's not a stages of writing question, but it is a writing question. And, uh, you know, we're talking about writing in this section. So I just thought I'd throw it in. Definitely could fit in, I think, somewhere on early childhood or foundations of reading somewhere or possibly um, a general curriculum exam. OK, uh, we got all these ideas going on. And uh, I think it's a good scenario to take a look at. All right. And it's from the 72 exam. The answer is D. All right. Let's go to the next question.